Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the month of March. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into your reading and we're going to start off with the tea leaf oracle deck to see what people, situations, or energies may be coming up for you in the month of March. So Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios for the month of March? All right, and Scorpios, don't forget to like and comment if this video resonated with you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Oh, that's way too many. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios for the month of March? Okay. All right, Scorpios, you got handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Interesting. All right. Let's see what's going on, Scorpios. I'm using the Super Lunaris Tarot deck this month. Let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding this handshake for the month of March? Okay. We have the Five of Swords, Page of Swords, Six of Swords reversed, the Strength card, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Very interesting. This Page of Pentacles reversed has been coming up in a lot of my readings for this month. Very interesting. And so has the Six of Swords in reverse. Actually, all of these cards have shown up in other readings. Very interesting. You know, Scorpios, they say if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Page of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you guys have been working really hard on something, trying to get something um, going in terms of maybe like a project, a career, whatever. And I feel like there is an opportunity um, for someone to come in and possibly help you make that happen. Um, but I do feel like there needs to be possibly more preparation on your end for, for one reason or another. It's like this person could be, this person could be like an investor. They could have a lot of money to give to you and maybe they are really, really drawn to certain projects like yours. So a chance meeting, I mean, you could meet this person at a bar or something and hand you their card and be like, hey, call me tomorrow. Let's talk more. Um, I really like your energy. I like what you bring to the table. Hmm. This person could also have a lot to offer you in terms of teaching you with the Page of Swords as well. I feel like you have a lot that you could learn from this person. Take a look at where Leo sits in your chart. Scorpios, I always tell my viewers when a major arcana card comes up to have your astrological natal chart handy. Look at the houses, look at the planets that fall into these signs. Um, that can kind of help point you in the direction of where it is that you're looking in terms of this energy. Because again, we're all Scorpios, but our natal charts are all completely different. So the energy could be really similar in this reading but it could affect you guys in different ways like for some of you it could be career for some of you it could be love for some of you it could be family health whatever so definitely take a look at where leo is sitting for you guys and um let me know in the comments what you guys find out i would love to hear about it i want to go ahead and just start clarifying cards because i'm not really getting a full picture here and i really want to see more of what's going on here. <laughs> hmm. The Six of Swords is really interesting to me. I, When I first saw it, I thought someone maybe coming back around like a past person, but it said a stranger. All right, I wanna look at the Six of Swords and I wanna look at the Five of Swords. Those are the ones that are just really standing out to me. Spirit, can we please clarify the Six of Swords in reverse energy? What is this energy doing here for my Scorpios? Uh-huh. Let's see. What was that? The Ace of Cups, the Sun in reverse, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Interesting. 
Okay, so the Six of Swords could also mean someone, someone who doesn't really live near you. This is someone who could be, I don't know, usually the Six of Swords talks about travel by boat, so maybe this person lives in another country? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. This person could live in another country, or they could just live at a pretty decent distance from you. See, for a lot of you guys, this is going to resonate for different areas of your life. That's why it's really important to have your natal chart on hand, because this Ace of Cups tells me about a lot of different things. For a lot of you, this is an opportunity in terms of finances. For some of you, this is an opportunity in terms of love. For some of you, this is an opportunity in terms of just changing your life in any 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 potential area. I mean, it could go either way, but whatever this cup is being offered, it's going to be something that's emotionally fulfilling and satisfying to you. Almost um, a relief. Yeah, it's like emotionally fulfilling. It's going to be something that makes you very, very happy to receive. Very exciting. Um, could, again, just be turning around a lot of things for you. We have the Five of Pentacles here. And we have the Sun card in reverse. With the Sun card in reverse, it's like, it talks about um, not really being happy with the way things are right now. Um, maybe you guys have been going through a really tough period in terms of finances, in terms of just not having really any stability in your life, whether that's a home, whether that's a job, whether that is, I don't know, mentorship, friendship community, maybe a church for some of you guys. Maybe you're meeting a pastor or someone that works in a spiritual uh, place. For some of you guys, it's just like that lack of community and there's something that's been missing here. Um, and I do feel like for a lot of you, it's like, you guys have been wondering like when this is going to turn around. This has been happening for some time for you guys, my Scorpios, wherever this is happening for you, it's it's been pretty draining and I feel like it's taken its toll on you and you guys might have been losing your um you know your positive outlook on life or the world you're just like man I cannot catch a break when is this turning around is it ever gonna turn around I don't know and you're starting to get like kind of cynical almost here with this queen of pentacles in reverse you're like you know what this is just this is where I'm at right now I don't know what's gonna happen um, <laughs> you guys have kind of lost faith a little bit, I would say. Um, but I do feel like, again, this Ace of Cups coming in is coming in to kind of turn that all around. And I think you'll be very, very happy. And you'll be very excited about this new opportunity. All right, I want to take a look at the Five of Swords as well. What is this Five of Swords energy? I feel like this is you guys have just been fighting, fighting to fighting to make something happen. I really want to know what that is. Spirit, can we clarify this Five of Swords? Can we clarify this Five of Swords for my Scorpios? What is happening here? Okay, we got the Hermit card. Nine of Cups. Five of Cups. Oh, boy. And the Sun card in reverse again at the bottom of the deck. There it is. Yeah. You guys missed... You guys lost something recently. And you guys have been fighting to find some sort of order or plan to move you guys forward and get you guys back to where it is that you want to be in terms of your life. The Nine of Cups is like you had everything you could have ever wanted and wished for. You thought you were set. You thought you were good. And then boom, Five of Cups. You lose it all. Or at least you think you lose it all right take a look at where virgo sits in your chart as well and we have leo again here with the sun card take a look at where leo and virgo sit in your chart that can kind of help point you in the direction of this loss virgo in particular i feel this hermit card is really interesting too it feels like you guys like all of this this happened when you guys thought you were just minding your own damn business <laughs> You guys were just chilling, like focusing on centering yourself, you know, growing internally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. You were on a really, really good path and then it just came in and it, I'm surprised the tower card isn't here, honestly. 
because it just feels like something came in and just bulldozed right all through that happiness and you're like well damn <laughs> So again, we have two five cards right here. If you guys are going through major changes or have been going through major changes lately and you guys are at the point where it's like, you don't know if you can go on anymore. You don't know if everything you've been doing has been for nothing. Um, some of you guys may be kind of scared and worried a little bit, but I feel like something's coming in to kind of restore your faith in the world and the universe, which is frankly needed. I am a Scorpio as well, and I'm kind of feeling this energy too. I'm, I can definitely see how this could affect you guys. So I'm excited to see something positive coming in for you if that is resonating. Let's go ahead and move on to our Oracle decks. I want to start with the Moonology Manifestation Oracle. Now these messages could be completely related or unrelated to the messages so far, but okay, right there. Spirit says, new moon and Capricorn, step up and lead. Yeah, like I said, if you don't have a plan, <laughs> get one <laughs> quick. Because I feel like this person has a lot to offer you. And if they don't see that you're serious about yourself, they could potentially move on or make you wait even longer or make you get your stuff together longer. Um, we also have the first quarter moon in Cancer, push through in any insecurity. I feel like you guys are ready for this opportunity. You've been getting ready for this opportunity. So don't feel like you are not ready. You don't feel like you are um, incompetent. You are definitely ready. We also have full moon in Gemini at the bottom of the deck and it says embrace the flow of life. Big change is coming, that's for sure. Um, it may even be an opportunity that you don't expect or something that you wouldn't really normally consider. Um, but I think spirit is saying like, don't just you know shy away from it because it's unusual or it's different that's actually probably a good thing they want you to kind of go out of your comfort zone a little bit all right so the next deck is the daily crystal inspiration deck um, again for additional messages and even some crystals possibly if you guys like working with crystals um, we can see what crystal spirit recommends you guys to work with this month all right spirit what do you have for my scorpios we have, ooh, Rainbow Obsidian, Heal Your Heart. Yeah, that would be really helpful, especially with that Five of Cups energy that come out. Some of you guys are still kind of healing with that residual energy. For some of you, I feel like this has been happening at least for like a year or so, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. Take what resonates, but this is something that isn't really fresh, but it still kind of feels that way. So that can kind of help resolve some of that again residual energy that you're feeling we also have bloodstone get up and get moving all right time to take action get a plan together this is exciting scorpios i'm so excited for you guys and at the bottom of the deck we also have aragonite release your emotional baggage ah. all right there you go time to let the past go that's for sure let that past pain go it's done it's over with there's new opportunities out there for you you just gotta you gotta reach out and take it all right moving on to the final deck of the reading which is going to be the african goddess rising oracle i am going to be reading from the guidebook on this one i'm still getting familiar with this deck um, but I wanted to share this with you because I absolutely love the messages that come out of here. So Spirit, what final messages do you have for my Scorpios for their month of March? What final messages do you have for my Scorpios for the month of March? Give it to us. Let's see what's going on. We have... <laughs> this came up in Libra's reading too. We have Kitesh, Sacred Lust. Interesting. So again, this could be love related. This could be something else. Oh boy, let's take a look. Let me read this for you guys. Katesh's guidance. You are an erotic creature. Well, we know that, don't we, Scorpios? You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure. You deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good, so allow yourself to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust, turn up your own fire, and quench that thirst. 
dance with pleasure. You daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. It feels good to feel good. So what I'm getting here is like, turn on that Scorpio charm. Turn it up, okay? Because you want to make sure that you are drawing in this opportunity and making sure it only has eyes for you, whether that's in love, whether that's career, whatever. You want to make sure that this opportunity isn't looking anywhere else. <laughs> you want to be the star. Put yourself out there. Really express yourself. Don't be afraid to express your authentic self. Um, and don't forget to also enjoy this process. Um, get... I was gonna say get physical but I was gonna say don't don't be afraid to like get your hands dirty like get your hands in there working with your hands I feel for a lot of you may be um, a great way to kind of get the creative juices flowing um, I know for me personally I'm I'm a very much like touch oriented I like to touch things and feel things and really understand like materials okay for like clothing um, whatever. I really like to know what it's going to feel like um, on my body when I'm working with it, whatever, if it's going to be comfortable enough for me, all of that. So for those of you that work with your hands and use your senses in your work, I think that's a great tool to have or ramp up um, in preparation for this, making sure that you are on fire with all of your senses, not just with your communication. Um, and your logic. I hope that makes sense, Scorpios, but that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if this resonated, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And I also do personal readings, so if you want to schedule one with me, you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. Um, if you want to see more content from me, you can also find me on Patreon, TikTok, and Instagram, and all that info is below as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great month of March, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!